family. Greetings from Family Chef to you. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I'm going to visit my friend in Staten Island. This friend likes kebab a lot. So I decided to make kebab, okay? I washed my kebab already. I washed all my pepper. You all know that when you are making kebab, you need your pepper. And I have my stew. Uh -huh. Kebab. <laughs> okay, here you need your pepper, you need the onions. I have my garlic and my ginger here. Okay, let me show you how I wash the gizzard. Gizzard, when you buy gizzard, I washed this one already. You can see there's something here, you should take it out. See here. Don't forget to take it out, okay? It's brown stuff that you need to take it out. Alright? That's how it looks. Alright. I have my gizzard wash already. We are going to season it, alright? I have my ginger and everything. Let's start seasoning. I have my three cloves of garlic. Is going to my food processor. I have my ginger. It's all going to food processor. Let's put our mixer. On top of the meat. I have my onga here. This is from Ghana. If you don't have it, you can use chicken bouillon on any cubes you like. Alright. Half of my onga. Quarter teaspoon goes. This is going to boil. I'm going to cook it until it boils. Maybe cook it about 20 minutes. Okay, let's cover it. It's boiling. I have Jamaica pepper here. My food processor. Okay, let's put the food processor here. And I have this kind of pepper, yellow and green. I'm going to cut all this in onions and, and uh, pepper. And blend it or chop it. One onion seed, cut it in four pieces like this. All right, this is the size of kebab onions. All right, because you are going to put the meat into the stick that we need the uh, peppers and the onion that go with it so I cut my onions this is how the shape is you can cut it any shape you want it so I'm going to cut all this pepper the same shape as the onions I always tell you family chef anything you see it on my table I wash it already okay so this is the pepper you cut it in three pieces, the pieces, the bite, bite size, okay? This is how the pepper is going to look, because we're going to saute them. I don't like raw pepper. I'll saute them a little bit with the onions and put it on a, together with the beet. So, I'll see you later to see how we put everything together, okay? I'm going to continue to cut my peppers. That our meat is boiling. I think it boiled about 15 minutes. Together we are going to boil for 20 minutes because gizzard tend to be a little gummy. So if you don't boil it for a little longer, it will be so tough gummy. So we are going to boil it for another 15 minutes. Okay. We are going to switch this gizzard and go to the other other side of the 
because now I have my pan here. Okay, let's put the pan. Put a little bit of olive oil. One teaspoon. Any oil you have is fine. Okay. Okay, now our pan is hot. Do you remember the peppers and the onions and the ginger I blend? Okay. We are going to use this to make a lot of fun. So I'll let this bubble for 15 minutes. Then I'll come back and see you why, how we put everything together. Meanwhile, I cut my peppers. I don't like raw peppers. Some reason I don't like raw pepper on my kebab. So I'm going to be saute this for six minutes, put a little salt on top, and I put everything together. It's kind of thin that uh, Maggi cube or any cube you have, you can use it. I'm using onga today. Now the last ingredients I'm putting in is Jamaica powder, Italian herbs, Italian season. I love it. Paprika. Okay. That goes in here. Okay. Let's put it as who use the pepper raw. I don't like raw pepper for my kebab. So a little bit of oil. Half teaspoons go in the pan. I don't have to wash it. Okay, now my pepper and the onions is going in. Let's put a little salt. For the vapor, I'll cook it another five minutes to be at least 35 to 40 minutes. Now my kebab is cooked. My gizzard transfer from this bowl to the pan. I have my kebab sticks here. Okay, I, I like I told you I like it spicy. So this is the pepper and the onions and um, ginger that I made. Suya so, yeah, is kebab powder, okay? That's your choice. Hey guys, now the kebab is ready. Okay, this is the skewer. Put it in a skewer like this. So you put one kebab, you put your pepper. Put your onions, right? Put your green pepper. I saute my pepper because I told you I don't like the raw pepper. So mother and son are having fun. Okay, guys, this is the end of my video. Look at look at that. You wanna bite? I swear to God, you wanna bite? Junior, Junior, we're gonna finish this before we go to start in our land. My goodness, <laughs> you wanna buy it? Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for having time to check check me on YouTube at Santos Kitchen. If you go to Facebook, it's also a Santos Kitchen. Okay, please like the video, share. Thank you. <laughs>